offense last week. Give it to Madison, untouched for six. What a start for Brent Rippon and the Broncos. Look at the heavy tight end set on the left side and a kick out block. Three tight ends in there. 11 play to drive on third and two. Falk in the traffic and intercepted. Tyler Horton, who had a pick six against Falk in last year's game, picks up the interception for Boise State. He threw this. Play fake here for Rippin, and down he goes. The ball's come loose. It's picked up by the Cougars, Robert Taylor. Touchdown, Washington State. Picked it up for six. Well, pressure came from the outside, but it was Ma Mata Afa who came inside with his quickness and disrupted everything and also got the ball out. But he's the impact player that makes things happen for Washington State. It was the... Play fake for Rip, and he is thrilled. Uncontested from the edge, Frankie Luvu came in, the senior from American Samoa. Can't make this mistake. That's a running shot. I mean, that's Mochin who moved over from the right guard to the right tackle spot. Archie Lewis is out tonight. And you, oh, you're just getting your quarterback killed. You got to get it. Rippin is done. Frankie Luvu got the ultimate hit. Knock Rippin out of the game. It is all Montel Cozart. It is a shot up top on first down. How about this grab? Cedric Wilson over the top of Darian Moulton. Rod, you said that he touches in the first half, and one of the halftime adjustments is you got to find a way to get your best players the football. And a beautiful throw by Cozart. Just in the pocket, put it up there, give him a chance to go get it. Yeah. Cozart, Madison, out of the hands. I don't think he ever had it. The ruling is a catch on the field and a fumble recovered by Washington State. I'm not sure that's a catch. Marcel I, I didn't Pippins. For the 14-yard line. Cozart will take off. Inside the five, Kozar pulls his way in. Touchdown, Boise State. Gilmore, Clint Kessidick, our entire ESPN crew, pleased to be with you. We start the fourth with Montel Kozart going long, up top and wheeled in. Touchdown, Cedric Wilson. Over the top of Marcellus Pippins on the first play of the fourth. The Broncos' lead is two scores. That man, Wilson had no catches in the first half, and look at this one. He puts it out there and just says, go get it, Cedric, go get it. And he does. Only a rush of three. Still nowhere to go for Lipsky. Shovel pass, batted in the air and intercepted. Picked up by Durant Miles off the tip from Tyson Maeva. Again, this is an inexperienced quarterback trying to make something happen, moving to. Of course, pick Braun. Walensky's had a good drive here. Airs it out, and he's got a touchdown. First offensive touchdown of the game for Washington State, and it's the first in the career of the freshman Jameer Calvin. Big time recruit. He had committed to Nebraska. Crossed the line there, but Falk didn't snap it. Third and 18. Edge pressure. Falk is hit. Ball is out. There go the Broncos. Loose ball picked up by Boise State's Curtis Weaver. Ring up six. And Luke Falk is down to add injury to insult. Jabril Frazier knocked it out. Weaver took it the distance. Well, we well, snapping it with seven on the play clock. A few extra seconds. Kozart, shovel pass. Oh, a dangerous move. It is picked off by Paluer. Absolute disaster for Kozart.
The pressure came from Aguayo. And that hit the back of a Boise State player. That hit Harrison Ducros in the back. Washington State football. Absolute madness. Best thing he can, and that ball just hits him in the back of the head. I tell you what, poor Harrison Ducros. That's clear. This is a Washington State football, and through no fault of Harrison Ducros. He's just blocking, doing what he's supposed to do. He's got to get help from his punt return formation. Looking left. Touchdown, Washington State. Jamal Morrow. For Washington State. Kalinsky to throw it. Incomplete. Jackson Mack guarded by Harrison Ducros. And there is no flag. What is it with these guys who think that the half yard line is where you need to throw the football? That's become a thing in football, whether it's a Super Bowl or here. Now, you should have caught that. But man. That is in the hands. Yeah, I mean, he's got to catch that ball. It's right there. But still. Quint, what do you have? Uh, a little bit of the angle, but we'll see. The snapper is Kyle Selly, Trey Tinsley to hold. Eric Powell to send this game into his second overtime. And that's where we'll go. 22 yards for Powell. 34-34. They haven't scored a touchdown on any of these situations. It's Wicks. And he is in. Touchdown, Washington State. We have not seen much of their power back Wicks tonight. He punches in his 19th career rushing touchdown. You got an All-American guard who is 6'9 and 370 pounds. Get behind him. Let him do his thing. They cave in that side over there. You get six. At the bottom of the screen. Cozart looks his way. Wilson's got it. Wilson to the end zone. Touchdown, Boise State. Wow. Do you go for two? Do you end it right here? They are not. They're bringing the extra point team in. You know, it's the sort of thing that you think about when you are the visiting team. You're on the road. You give some thought to ending it. How fresh is your team? How do you like the matchup? How do you feel? Well, Harson apparently feels he can go another over. Hogarth has hit two tonight. This one from 37. And it is perfect. From 34, from 29, and from 37. Hogarth three for three. Boise State on the board. Motion man is sweet. A rush of four. Helinski has time. Pass complete. Morrow gets away from a defender. Morrow to the end zone. He is shouldered out of bounds. Touchdown. The side official rules it a touchdown. Washington State, if it stands, has a comeback for the ages. And Boise State made great tackles all night, but missed one here. He's beyond the pylon. Looks like he broke the plane. That looks good. From this angle, he breaks the plane inside of it. That's 